Good afternoon, New York, Costa Bruce. Today is October 18, 2012. This is Texan TV News from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas, and I am Lacey Massey. In today's headlines, Tarleton State holds its annual yell contest. Stephenville Chamber of Commerce hosts Safe Trick or Treat. A West Texas woman is accused of fatally beating her three-year-old daughter. More people have died in the national meningitis outbreak, and British police apologized Wednesday for using a stun gun to subdue a blind stroke victim. Breaking news, Texas State University official Twitter account reported a bomb threat this morning at 10 a.m. Only one building and two residence halls have been evacuated so far and classes are still scheduled to continue. And now for today's top story. Tarleton held its annual yell contest last night at 10 o'clock at Wisdom Gym. Hundreds of students arrived to watch the Greek organizations compete against one another. Organizations like Sigma Alpha, Lambda Chi Alpha, Sigma Chi, Delta Chi, Sigma Phi Lambda, Alpha Gamma Rho, and Farmhouse competed in the small division portion of the competition. The students' performance was based on clarity, creativity, and volume. Sigma Chi came in third place. Farmhouse came in second, and placing first was Lambda Chi Alpha. Competing in the large division was Delta Zeta, Kappa Delta Rho, Alpha Gamma Delta, and Phi Mu. Alpha Gamma Delta came in third place, Kappa Delta Rho came in second, and Phi Mu came in first. Tarleton State University President Dr. Dominic Dottavio concluded yell contest by joining his wife, Lisette Dottavio, members of the football team and members of the Plowboys in the beating of the drum. The Plowboys continued to beat the drum as they traveled across campus to the amphitheater. Students followed the Plowboys by holding hands and snake dancing tonight. S Student Government Association's Freshman Representative Council will be making purple pancakes starting at 1030 in the dining hall. And Stephenville News, the Empire Tribune reports no one should have to be afraid to have fun, especially on Halloween. And the Stephenville Chamber of Commerce is making sure all kids have a safe place to enjoy the holiday. July Danley, Chamber President and CEO, said Halloween is almost here. And as always, the Chamber is sponsoring the Safe Trick or Treat and costume contests to ensure a fun and safe experience for our children. This year's event will be held on Wednesday, October 31st at the Downtown Square from 4 to 6 p.m. Chamber member, business, and nonprofit organizations will pass out sweet treats to children while promoting a safe and fun environment for families. The Chamber will also host a costume contest at the Walk of Fame Plaza. The contest will begin at 5.30 p.m. and will divide competitors into age groups. Three prizes will be awarded in all four age divisions for the cutest, funniest, and scariest costumes. The Chamber is still looking for a few prizes to be donated for the contest and asks that anyone interested in helping should contact them during regular business hours. In Texas news, the Associated Press reports a West Texas woman accused of fatally beating her three-year-old daughter in November 2007 has been sentenced to life without parole, plus 35 years in prison. A jury found 30-year-old Yara Belen Perez guilty of capital murder and failure to protect her child in the death of Jacqueline Gonzalez. The El Paso Times reports defense attorney Joe Spencer says no deci decision has been made on appealing. Perez's trial ended in a mistrial last summer when a juror heard two courthouse security officers discussing the case. The juror also told other jurors about the bailiff's conversation. The child's body was found in a car trunk outside an apartment Perez shared with her boyfriend. The boyfriend was sentenced to life imprisonment in 2010 for the killing. In national news, the Associated Press reports four more people have died in the national meningitis outbreak, bringing the death toll to 19. Health officials said Wednesday the deaths are among the 247 people in 15 states sickened in the outbreak. 
They received shots of an apparently contaminated steroid medication made by a Massachusetts specialty pharmacy. Most of the patients contracted a rare fungal form of meningitis after getting shots for back pain over the past few months. Test results so far have shown infections with three kinds of fungus, most of them a form of black mold. The CDC said three lots of the suspect steroid were, were recalled last month by the New England Com Compounding Center of Fra Framingham, Massachusetts. All the illnesses have been traced to one of those lots. Food and Drug Administra Administration officials last week said the fung fungus in 50 vials of the preservative-free steroid called methyl precedentlin acetate. However, they have not said what kind of fungus they detected. In international news, the Associated Press reports British police apologized Wednesday for using a stun gun to subdue a blind stroke victim they wrongly thought was carrying a samurai sword. A bizarre case of mistaken identity that left the man fearing for his life. Carlin Farmer told British broadcasters that he thought he was going to die after he heard a commotion, felt electricity surge through his body, and was knocked to the floor by an unknown assailant. The incident occurred in the town of Clory in northern England's Lancaster County on Friday. Farmer said the officer jumped on the small of my back with his knees, wrenched my arms up, and up my back and cuffed me so tightly I was in great pain. Lancaster Police report Chief Stuart Williams said police brought the victim to a local hospital to be checked out ap after they realized they had used the weapon against the wrong man. He said in a statement that the police deeply regret the incident, which happened after police received multiple reports that a man was walking through Corley armed with a samurai sword. Police said a different man was arrested in connection with the sword reports, but was released without charge. In sports, the Associated Press reports the St. Louis Cardinals, powered by backup player Matt Carpenter, beat the San Francisco Giants 3-1 in a rain-delayed game 3 on Wednesday to seize a 2-1 lead in the Best of Seven National League Championship Series. Carpenter, who replaced injured outfielder Carlos Beltran, cracked a two-run home run in the third inning off Giants starter Matt Kane to give St. Louis a 2-1 lead and send the Cardinals on their way. St. Louis added another run in the seventh inning when they knocked Kane out of the game just before a storm created a three-and-a-half hour delay. Closer, closer Matt Jason Moe came on in the eighth and turned in a two-inning save to preserve the win for the Cardinals. Stardner Kyle L Los, who gave up seven hits and five walks in five and two-thirds inning, but held San Francisco to one run. The Giants stranded 11 men on base. And in weather, today's forecast is a high of 77 with a low of 47 with a 0% chance of rain. Today's broadcast was produced by Alex Soki, Shawnee Wagner, and Savannah Trantham. You can follow us on Ustream.tv slash user slash Texan TV News Service. Don't forget to tell your friends about us and become a fan of Texan News on Facebook. I am Lacey Massey. Tune in tomorrow for the latest news from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas.